Welcome to the history of Microsoft. The year was 1984. Sitcoms Kate and Allie and The Cosby Show premiered to both critical and popular acclaim. In medicine, Baby Faye received a transplanted baboon heart, and the Supreme Court OK's home TV recording in its ruling on the Sony case. And at Microsoft, 1984 began with a bang, when on January 24, 1984, Microsoft and Apple Computer announced the new Apple Macintosh computer and Microsoft's custom-designed productivity software for it. Macintosh's interface combined with Microsoft's software, Multiplan, Chart, Word, File, and Basic provides a powerful and functional environment for all users. On March 4, 1984, Microsoft joined forces with Spectra Video and four Japanese firms to establish a hardware-software compatibility standard based on the popular Z80 8-bit microcomputer. The standard, called MSX, made available a new set of standard specifications so diverse software programs would be compatible with low-cost home computers from different manufacturers. MSX was developed primarily for the Japanese market as the first unified format in Japan for software or hardware. It was never adapted for sale in the U.S. There were other people, Kazuhiko Nishi, who was a very close friend of mine from Japan, really taught me about the Japanese market, got us doing the very first J Japanese personal computer, the NEC PC-8000, and many of those other projects. He's a, you know, he's a visionary, very energetic, almost overly uh, optimistic about where things can go, uh, and it started a lot of the early computer magazines in Japan and, and worked with us for a long time. The, because it was a fast moving business and uh, all that, you know, we worked very long hours and you know, we'd go out to movies together. Everybody was, uh, knew each other awfully well. And um, up until 1981, um, uh, Paul and I had owned the whole company except we'd shared a little bit of it with Steve. And there wasn't much pressure to do anything differently than that. But then around um, 81, we decided to um, share some of the ownership uh, in the form of, of options uh, and actually brought uh, uh, some of the really strong contributors into that, that program. A few weeks later, Microsoft Press introduced its first two titles, Carrie Lou's The Apple Macintosh Book, and Peter Norton's Exploring the IBM PC Junior Home Computer. On March 29, 1984, Microsoft expanded when they created a new hardware and peripherals division dedicated to developing and marketing hardware products that complement Microsoft's software product line. On August 14, IBM chose Xenix and MS-DOS for its new generation personal computer, the IBM PC AT. Come September, Microsoft was on the move. They scheduled a meeting with Redmond City officials to discuss relocating the company to the Evergreen Place development in 1985. Now, once again, Microsoft released a plethora of products, including Project 1.0, Multiplan for Mac 1.0, Serial Mouse 2.5, Softcard 2, and C Compiler 2.0. The 1984 fiscal year end sales totaled $97 million and the 1984 fiscal year employee headcount was now 860 people. As the year ends, Microsoft gears up for 1985, where Windows will be delivered.